Hello guys, I am here today to bring to you, this was like a trend like over 12 months ago, but how much I spend in the week as a university student. Obviously, I am in New Zealand, you can probably tell by my accent if you're not from New Zealand because, I mean, I don't feel like I have an accent but people tell me I do and I know I do and it probably sounds bogan as Basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is laying out a little bit of like an income statement for you. Any accounting students out there, I got you. Basically what I'm going to be doing is saying where like so where my money comes from, what I spend it on, and I guess from that we'll kind of be able to work out the balance. I don't actually know the balance myself, but I feel like it's probably going to be in the negative, so that's really fun. Anyway, we'll start with my income. So I have a job as of like the start of this uni year, so I'm a second year student. As of the start of this year, I picked up a part-time job, which is just 11 and a half hours a week, like three half days. So with that job, I'm paid fortnightly, but then if you kind of like, if you divide that payment in half, then it's like what I get paid in a week. So for 11 and a half hours of work in a week at minimum wage, which is now $20.50 an hour, tax at 10.5%, I'm earning about $210 a week for my job. Alongside that, I also have a like really minuscule, tiny income that comes from you guys watching my videos. So thank you for that. See, I kind of separate my money. I use my work money to cover like my living costs and then if I want to like, buy new shoes or go out for dinner, that money comes from my YouTube money. Editing Emma here, forgot to say, with the YouTube money, the first thing I do when I get that payment is pay 10% of it to the church, and then the remainder of that is then what I spend on, like, clothes and shoes and all that fun stuff. But in saying that, I don't rely on the YouTube money because every month, like, that income fluctuates. It depends on how many views I'm getting, how much the engagement is. Like, I cannot rely on that. So some month if I'm like, hey, I want to buy a new pair of shoes, and the income comes through, and I'm like, that ain't happening this month. That's a very unreliable source of income and obviously not one that everyone has. Obviously still grateful to have it, but it's not something like I couldn't solely, definitely could not solely live on that one income, hence why I've got the part-time job. In New Zealand, you guys will, may or may not be aware. If you're a student, you'll be aware. If not, maybe not. But we have this thing called Study Link, which is where you can get student loans and stuff at entrance free. And I think at the moment, the max is like $235, $240 a week, which you do have to repay. Otherwise, if you're your income and your parents income is below a certain threshold you can get student allowance as well I do get one of those I don't want to say which one but I do and that just helps to cover my living costs so that's where that's kind of my sources of income I do have three sources of income it's really nice to have that sort of like financial security but I don't just because I have three incomes I don't live beyond my means um, I'm not really someone who goes out for dinner like Rachel and I were literally just having a discussion we've been living in this house now for like nearly three months and we've not been out for dinner once so expenses i feel like a lot of people are going to be here just because they're curious as to how much rent i pay i'm here to tell you i'm being very transparent here so please be respectful i will kind of try and explain because a lot of people may not understand some of the stuff but i will try and explain it to the best of my abilities so we'll start with my rent so my rent for this beautiful room that i have here is 150 dollars a week some people here are going to be like wow that's like so expensive and majority of the people i'm guessing are going to be like wow that's actually like quite cheap or quite reasonable and I understand that so you guys if you're new here I am studying in Hamilton Hamilton as you may know it's not the most desirable place to live hence the rent here is a bit more affordable if I was in Auckland or Wellington the same room if it was in either of those locations would probably quite easily be double what I'm currently paying keeping in mind also this house is a four bedroom house and we have made it a five bedroom house by turning one of the lounges into a bedroom so that has reduced our rent as market value is based on a four bedroom home whereas it's actually become a five bedroom home which helps us out financially quite a bit that's kind of my justification there that's something i didn't even consider when moving to uni that hamilton would have cheaper living costs but something it may be worth considering i wouldn't let that sway your decision but if it's something that's going to help you make a decision then perhaps that's something worth considering obviously the main city centers such as auckland and wellington are going to be a lot more expensive just because houses there are a lot more expensive and when you're paying rent you're paying someone's mortgage if you're paying a mortgage that's of higher value for a more expensive home then you can expect to pay obviously more rent and also with this room i do pay more than other girls because i have my own bathroom and my room is quite a lot bigger so i'm not here to tell you what the other girls pay that's like that's their, if they want to say that's their place to say that, not my place to say that. So yeah, rent $150 a week. Moving on to food. Now food, we do collectively as a, well I was going to say family, we pretty much are a family, but co collectively as a flat. So there's five of us here and we each contribute $35 a week for food. So that goes towards all of like our pantry staples and we cook, we have a night each for cooking. So that money goes towards the ingredients that we may need to cook 
like if we need to go buy like chicken that all comes from the balance of money we have from all of our 35 dollars that we contribute once a week that money if you're curious goes into like a communal flat account i'm the one who monitors that account because it's like a suffix of my own account and we just have an fbos card for that and then all of the flat money just goes to the fbos card moving on to snacks because snacks obviously we all like different snacks as you guys will know when you turn up to school your lunchbox doesn't look the same as your pal sitting next to you if it does, awesome, but I can tell you right now that we all in this flat like different snacks. So for that reason, our snacks are separate from the communal sort of situation. Some people spend more on snacks, some people spend less. I'm kind of in the middle. I spend about $15 a week on snacks, so that's just to cover if I'm going to uni for like the whole day and I need to pack like some snacks to keep me going, then that's, that's what that money is. Normally my snacks are just like packs of chips, crackers, nuts. That's pretty much it really. And the final sort of like flatting expense I have here is power and Wi-Fi. So power and Wi-Fi, we obviously we've only had to pay like two bills so far because we haven't been here for that long. We managed to get a really good rate with Trust Power for gas, power and Wi-Fi. So far our power I would say has actually been like really, really reasonable. Obviously it's not winter yet so in winter our power will increase with having to turn on like heaters. So based off our last two bills we've kind of worked out at the moment our power Wi-Fi situation per month is about $35 a person. So obviously if you put that together with five people paying that's how much our power bill kind of is altogether and also that power rate is $35 per month so if you divide that by four weeks then that's $8.75 a week so that makes my overall living cost for the week $208.75 so as you can see I don't have a lot of money for playing around with here my income is $210 a week and my expenses are $208.75 so we don't have a lot of leeway here the one other expense I did want to touch on because I feel like this is one that people sometimes may forget and that is petrol obviously not living on campus at uni now means that I do actually have to get in the car and drive myself to uni which is fine I don't mind and also driving myself to work as well my car does take higher octane fuel which means it obviously is more expensive than the standard car which is really annoying and I wish I'd consider that when I purchased my car but that's fine um, with the price of fuel at the moment a little bit ridiculous obviously fuel in Hamilton is a little bit cheaper which does help but roughly kind of on a like 10 to 14 day basis I'm paying around $90 to fill up my tank so obviously if I'm not doing hyper running around then it will be more towards a two week sort of mark maybe even longer than I until I have to fill up and then if I'm doing like trips between here and Auckland like going back home then it'll last more like the seven day mark so I hope that gives you guys a little bit of an insight as to how expensive it is to be a student I definitely underestimated how costly it is to live not under your parents roof i feel like this is a video that i would have really benefited from like maybe 12 months ago when i was like oh yeah flatting should be right flatting isn't as, isn't as cheap as you kind of think it's going to be you probably have heard your parents say oh you can't live with that when you're a student well yes my parents told me that as well and now i understand exactly what they were saying when i would get my paycheck in high school and just blow it all on clothes you can't do that when you're a student because you need that money to live if you made this from the video comment this emojis but yeah apart from that stay safe stay well make someone smile and i'll see you in my next video so basically what i'm going to be doing what i'm going to be clear what i'm going to be doing Quick math, quick math, quick math.